Maybe I could take the whole interview to just talk about the cool things that Salt Lake City is doing about climate change. Newly elected mayor of Salt Lake City, Aaron Mendenhall. Aaron Mendenhall. Aaron Mendenhall. I'm Aaron Mendenhall. I'm the mayor of Salt Lake City, mother to three awesome kids, wife to Kyle, and I like to ride bikes. My motivation to get into the field of air quality was when I became a new mother and seeing the world through that new lens I threw myself into it and started as an activist, standing you know, outside with hundreds of others sometimes, sometimes just a handful, posters in hand, trying to have our voices heard. I think anybody who starts as an activist and maybe turns to advocacy and then to policy making still has activism in their core. I know it is there for me. Of the state of Utah. My name is Kevin Emerson and I am Utah Clean Energy's Building Efficiency and Decarbonization Program Director. Cutting energy waste is a really important part of reducing climate emissions. Buildings are complicated. There's so much energy consumption in our built environment, and Mayor Mendenhall got that. We worked with Utah Clean Energy when I was on the city council to figure out how do we focus in on those buildings which might benefit the most from the resources to help them run more efficiently. Salt Lake City had the opportunity to become the 25th city across the entire country to adopt an innovative ordinance to help the largest buildings become aware of their energy waste and to cut their energy waste. Utah Clean Energy came to the table really unafraid but willing to provide the kind of business resources in terms of how do you talk to business owners and property owners about why this is good for them. It's not just about air quality and the climate. It ended up passing successfully, and it's been now at play for uh, several years. Mayor Mendenhall is visionary. She's willing to listen. She wants to take bold ideas and, and move them forward to really address climate change. You can't do air quality work without simultaneously doing climate change work. They're inextricably connected. The work on equity and environmental justice is also inextricably connected. So moving from a focus as I started on air quality to clean energy, to food equity, and everything else that we do around renewable resources and planning for the future of our city was a very natural progression. Some of the things I'm most proud of Salt Lake City doing in the last couple of years is around the 100% renewable energy path that we've now created. It's called the Community Renewable Energy Plan. I'm also proud of our Thousand Trees Initiative on the west side of Salt Lake City. We're still planting about 1,100 trees a year throughout our city. When I came into office, we committed to increasing that 1,100 to about 2,200 and focusing that additional 1,000 on our west side. We're now 1,500 trees in. We'll put the next 500 for this year in the fall. What makes Mayor Mendenhall a great advocate and what has made her a great advocate over the years uh, for clean energy, clean air, and climate is her pragmatism, her vision. She's patient, but she's also finding ways to move things quickly. She's great at building bridges and building connections with people. I want young people to see themselves in my role. I want them to see themselves running the Department of Environmental Quality, being a governor, so please see yourself in these roles in the future, but don't hesitate to be involved today. She uses the power of her position to bring lasting, long-term benefits to our local community, our local environment, our public health, and our planet's climate.